Hi, so today I'm in Sutton Park taking a walk. As you can see, the sun's just come out. It's a bit blowy, but there's some fabulous blue sky behind us and it's a really nice day for a walk. Whilst it might sound a bit of a contradiction in terms, I find that walking actually is the way I can be still and no God. And I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you. I'm probably going to move the camera around a bit so that you don't have to look at my face all the time, but uh, hopefully you can get a bit of Sutton Park as well. The verse, be still and know that I am God, is one I found very challenging as a young Christian until I became comfortable with the idea that being still was actually about a stillness in my heart and soul and I didn't literally need to sit still and spend time with God. I am somebody who likes to be busy and if I sit down without nothing specific to do I often find a sense of guilt creeping in and I start looking for jobs to do, tidying or emailing. In other words I am quite easily distracted. When I stopped working I started walking a lot more. I walk with friends and with family and I also walk on my own and it enables me to literally step away from the distractions. With friends and family it means my intent, attention is focused on them and our conversation and our time together feels so much more enjoyable, valuable and genuine. But walking on my own has been the greatest revelation and has had a huge impact on my personal walk with God. I often listen to podcasts or to Christian music and I often find that without the distraction of other things going on, the temptation to step away and to do something else, by making space for God, he will speak. I don't mean in a necessarily dramatic burning bush type of way, but in that small, still voice of calm, perhaps through a chorus or words spoken by somebody else in a podcast. This week it was through the words of a familiar chorus that has been going round in my head and separately through a verse in Zechariah. The details are not actually important for the purposes of this. What is important is the fact that I make a deliberate choice to step away from distractions and put myself in a place or a mindset to be with God. And when I do that, he will speak. And I can only sum, sum that up in the word encouragement. Through those times, God encourages me and gives me strength and resolve to keep going. So if like me, you struggle a bit to be still, in a literal fashion, can I suggest perhaps you go for a walk? And I hope and pray that it'll have the same sort of impact on your life and your walk with God as it has on mine.